Let's start with the marking process on some plastic. What I want to show you is the difference between IR laser, green laser and UV laser. How it looks like the marking and some difference on the part itself. Let's start with the IR laser. So in this case, to avoid the burning of the component, it's better to mark with the two passages. As you can see, the marking is uh, visible, it's very clear. We have some dust coming from the car marking, but we, this is easy to remove, as well as the marking has some roughness on the surface, but it's quite visible. So depending on the application, this type of result can be good or not good. Let's see the same effect, the same material with the green laser. ready let's test same material same logo but with a green laser as you can see we have a higher contrast the dust is drastically reduced but we still have some roughness on the surface of the component let's compare with UV mark Now we can compare fiber, green and UV. So for sure the lighter and with higher roughness is the fiber. The green can achieve on this type of material higher contrast but is a little bit burdened and also you can feel the marking so the roughness is still high. The UV instead is completely smooth also very nice contrast, a nice grey, not burned. So depending on the application, the final application, the customer can decide which type of laser can use on this type of material. So let's move on another material and test also with the IR, green and UV laser. Now we are going to mark some electronic components. In this case, we have a different type of plastic. Let's see the result. Okay, so as you can see on this type of plastic, it's not possible to achieve a contrast using a fiber laser. Let's see the same plastic with the green laser. So IR is not working on this plastic. Let's see what happened on green laser. Same plastic, same drawing, green laser. So fiber, green. So we start to see a quite visible contrast. Let's see what happened with UV. So now we can compare the marking with the UV laser. Let's put the part and we are ready to go. Now we can compare fiber, green and UV. No visible market but with the lower contrast versus the UV laser. As you can see the UV has a bit higher contrast, high visibility. Let's move on different type of material. Let's move on stainless steel. And what I want to compare is the result between nanosecond laser and picosecond laser doing an annealing on stainless steel. Mm -hmm. 